Okay, so today I want to actually tap into something like a little bit different. It still has to do with money, but just pay attention. I want to talk about buying and selling because I think that, you know, it's something that is in our everyday life, such as money, how we buy, how we sell. So like, you know, buying from, you know, like buying self-development uh, courses or, you know, investing in a life coach, or it could be buying clothing, buying appliances, anything. And then selling that other aspect. Well, we're always really selling every day. Uh, we're always selling to one another. There's always some sort of transaction when it comes to selling, whether you run a business or not. It's the, you know, like it's that communication aspect of like when you ask a question um, and, you know, that person decides, you know, like whether or not they want to do set, like set things. So you're like, oh, you know, you want to go with the movie to the movies. That's a sales question because you're asking them if they want to join you. And so when you look at that bigger picture of that buying and selling aspect, it's really interesting of like the energetics behind it. And like, why are you doing what you're doing? Like, why are you buying what you're buying? And why are you selling what you're selling? Like, are you asking this person to go to the movies because you actually enjoy their company? Or is it because you want something from them? And the same thing goes to like with your clients, like if you're selling um, a program, like what is the, why are you selling the program? Are you selling the program because you want to get more clients? You want to get more money? Or do you genuinely, um, want to like, or do you genuinely like want to like teach them and guide them and help them and, and whatever this program is about? And then you look at the buying aspect of it, like that whole other section and it's like, okay, like, why do you buy where you buy? Like, are you buying it? Because right now it's filling a void and you just like, you know, it's just that, or are you buying it? Cause you actually truly desire it. And it's something that brings you joy and excites you and lights you up. Or, you know, that it's going to be something that it like down the road, it's going to be a good investment or whatever reason. And so looking at the whys between those two is really important just because it is interconnected with our receiving channels and the receiving channel of receiving abundance and receiving money. So when you look at receiving money, like we all desire money, like, but sometimes we block those channels. We block those channels when we can't accept compliments. We block those receiving channels when um, you know, if somebody offers us to buy a copy, then we can't, you know, and then we're like, no, 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 it's okay. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. Like that's blocking your receiving channels, your receiving abundance channel. And so you ask yourself, like, you know, why can't you receive compliments? Like ask yourself that. Why can't you receive compliments? Why can't you receive gifts or like somebody buying you a cup of coffee? And then when you interconnect that with selling, for example, it, it that's what it is, right? The person is like offering to buy you a coffee, meaning they're making a sales transaction and you are declining said transaction. And so why you like, and so how, so, okay. So then basically I'm, what I'm getting at is how do you buy and how do you sell? And how would you like to buy? And how would you like to sell? So I know for myself, like the way I buy is I know what I want. I always, I know what I want. I have a desire, motivation, human design. I have defined G center. I know what I want. And if I don't know what I want, I won't make any decisions. And I would just like kind of wait until I get clarity of knowing what I want. And I will go out and get it. You know, if I walk into a store, I go look around. I don't want anybody to help me unless I ask them that I need help with something. Same thing with hiring coaches. I follow a lot of coaches and the ones that, you know, light me up and that I look to work with, I buy from them. And I saw the same way. 
I sell the same way. I come out here on IG. I talk to people in my life. I use my line four as an opportunist in human design and I come out here and I just talk about the things that light me up. I talk about the things that are exciting to talk about, such as money and in this conversation, buying, selling and that's, and for me, it's like, you're interested. You'll come to me and tell me you're interested. I create the invitation. I create the breadcrumb. I create something for you to respond to, but I will not chase you. I will not go into your DMs and you know, sell you something. And it's just not who I am. And so when it comes to the receiving aspect of receiving money, if you intertwine that, I desire money to just come to me. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to go send it, you know, like kind of like, I'm not going to go like, uh, what did I say? I just got distracted. Hold on. I'm not going to force it but I'm not going to chase it either. Like, I'm not going to go and like, be like, Ooh, you know, like, and trying to control it. The way I desire to receive money is money is just going to come to me through, through my open receiving channels. And it's not going to be something I chase. It's not going to be something I force. So the way I buy, the way I sell is exactly the way I receive money. And money just comes to me like there'll be times where I, you know, think I will receive like a certain amount and then more comes in my world. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's amazing. Or receiving gifts like I the I always I don't expect it and I don't ask for it and I just let it come. And so how do you buy? How do you sell? Going back to those questions. How do you like to buy? How do you like to sell? How do you currently do it now? How have you done it in the past? How would you like to do it moving forward? And how do you want to receive money? And how would you like to receive gifts? Or how do you receive money now? How do you receive gifts? And see where the connection is. Because it's all intertwined. And so I think that it is an important conversation to have. And I hope that this has sparked some sort of thought process in your mind. And that is it for today. So I'll speak to you all tomorrow.